Hi YouTubers, welcome to All Things BMW Boxer. It's been quite a while since I've made my last video and I felt inspired to make a video today because today was Replace Your H7 Headlight Globe Day and uh, I've got an R1200 RTP, it's a 2011 model and I've found that uh, it likes to eat the cheap bulbs and here in Australia I use often have been using the SCA super cheap auto globes and I probably get about 10,000 kilometers on a, on a globe and I find it a bit irritating when the time to actually replace the globe because you have to put your fingers um, in the in the innards of the fairing <laughs> and the first few times I used to do it I used to get quite scratched it had lots of scratches all over my hands trying to wiggle this bulb in the right spot and then secure the two clips um, behind the, the globe and then put the put the, the two pin connector um, on the back of the of the bulb and the first few times it can probably take you about five minutes of fiddle faddle and a uh, good few scratches on the hands and I've discovered a very useful technique which will probably help you a lot as well and that is to actually use your cell phone to use the photo or the camera on your cell phone to see what you can't see now just for interest's sake here, when you're replacing the globe, you're working in a, in a confined space. I mean, the actual globe, there's three globes on an RT. The, the left and the right are the, the low beam, and the middle is the actual high beam globe. Now, I've replaced both of those globes, the left, the both high beam globes, I mean, both low beam globes, uh, quite often, <laughs> probably about about three times each and I've had the bike for about 70,000 kilometers so you just you just can't see what's going on down there no matter how far you squint or you just you have to work by feel so what I found is if you actually use your phone to take a photograph you can see whether, whether the bulb is properly oriented whether the clips are correctly located and whether the two pin electrical connector is plugged on properly and I'll show you what I mean there. If I can just get my camera on here. So I've taken various pictures with the flash on on the camera to uh, show me if I've correctly located the globe. And uh, I correctly located the clips. I thought, well, let me just, and then I plug the electrical connector in the back. When I had a closer look, I'd actually put the connector on one pin but off to the one side, so I had to pull it off and do it again. And then to check that I'd done it correctly, and that's the correct picture, if you can see that, uh, yeah, I confirmed by taking a photograph. And, I, and now I know that I've put it on correctly, and then I put the cover on. And to make sure I put the cover on correctly, I also took another picture and make sure I didn't put it on, put it on um, cockeyed. And while we're on the topic of um, taking pictures to verify things that you can't see, especially not unless you've got dental mirrors or similar things, let's take the example of checking your oil. Now I know there's a sight glass on this particular bike, but in this lighting, and it's Sunday night here, it's pretty dark, I just cannot see the oil sight glass window in there. Yes, you could get a torch, which would be a, a clever thing to do. But, if you got your cell phone handy, let me get my camera down to a point where you can actually see, you can actually do the same thing with your photos. And then you have a, a something that you can actually refer to. So I'll select photograph, put the camera in line with the side glass window, Take a picture with a flash. And then view the picture. And that was a dud picture, so I'll just take that one again. So you might have to um, line it up a couple times, get the flash in the right spot. Let's try that one. Yep, I can see it there. So now, You can actually see the oil window 
and you can see where the level is. I actually started the bike just now, so the oil level looks very low there. So I'll need to top that up. But yeah, so just an encouragement for you to actually use your camera to check the hard to see places, especially when replacing globes. Hope that tip helps you and I uh, hope you're enjoying your bike. Let me know if that tip helps you at all. Cheerio.